Welcome to the Commonwealth Foundation and Core Architecture module for Sales Engineers. For your information, a PDF version of this e-learning module can be downloaded by clicking on the resources link in the top right hand corner of the training window. In this module, you will learn about the core components within the Commonwealth software architecture and how these components work together to form the Commonwealth data platform. We will also discuss some of the technical advantages that Commonwealth software delivers and discuss a high-level architecture consisting of the basic solution components. Let's take a quick look at some of the core infrastructure components involved in a Commonwealth solution architecture. Each of these components will be covered in detail momentarily. Although the multi-tier data management architecture depicted here may not appear to be unique, you will shortly discover some key differences that set Commvault apart. All components within a Commvault software environment are grouped logically by what is termed as a COM cell. Every COM cell starts with a COM serve, which acts as a command center and control center in the COM cell. Every Commvault environment has a ComServe as its foundation. The media agent is the data transmission manager in the ComCell environment. It provides high performance data movement and manages the storage targets. The ComServe server coordinates media agent tasks. For scalability, there can be more than one media agent in a ComCell environment. Storage targets are where data is stored when it is protected. Disk, tape, and cloud storage can all be configured as a storage target. Commvault indexing and data packaging technologies are highly integrated with these storage targets to provide a global virtualized storage repository. These components can also be converged using Commvault Hyperscale X to simplify deployment, redundancy, and scalability with built-in ransomware protection. The Commvault Command Center is a powerful web-based user interface which spans the entire Commvault product portfolio. The Command Center provides a simplified dashboard-driven and service-oriented approach to managing on-premise and cloud infrastructures. Software packages, known as agents, provide native file system access, application awareness, or federate management of other systems required for successful data management operations such as backups and restores. Regardless of the solution you choose, whether it's software as a service using Metallic, a fully integrated appliance using Commvault Hyperscale X or any other Commvault Enterprise Data Management products, they all have one thing in common. At the core, the Commvault architecture is the foundation of it all. This is an important differentiator, proven technology with code that is developed and supported by a single recognized market leader. For customers, this provides enhanced functionality, increased operational efficiency, and lower risk. The control plane is the central management component of the ComCell environment. At its core is the ComServe, which coordinates and executes all ComCell operations. Accessible through a simple to use web interface, Command Center, the control plane, provides full configuration and control options for any single COM cell. The COM serve serves four primary functions. It holds the centralized configuration database and metadatabase for the COM cell. The metadatabase catalog housed in the COM serve includes metadata about the logical configuration and location of the data that is stored. It also acts as a central point for disaster recovery in an environment. The ComServe houses a Microsoft SQL database 
with configuration and media association, which in a disaster recovery scenario is the first item that needs to be recovered. The ComServe also houses the centralized event and job managers that handle the orchestration of various operations within a ComServe. The ComServe handles all the management of security profiles and authentication processes. This is managed through a local user security group or through tight integration with external domains such as Active Directory. Depending on solution requirements, the ComServe can be deployed on a physical server, a virtual machine, or a cloud instance. The data plane comprises of the media agent. On this layer of architecture, high-performance data movement and storage library management are performed by any number of media agents. The media agent acts as the gateway between data streams from the servers being protected and the storage targets where backup data will reside. The media agents accept data from any server with the appropriate Commvault software packages installed and then transport that data to a broad range of storage targets including disk, tape and cloud storage. Media agents are also used during auxiliary copy jobs where data is copied from one storage target to another. The media agent also hosts the deduplication database. The media agent maintains granular indexing information in its index cache, which includes detail on the jobs and objects that it has processed. Another function that the media agent handles is that it interfaces with supported primary storage arrays for IntelliSnap snapshot management, which will be covered in more detail in later modules. The media agent software is supported on most major operating systems, features ransomware protection, and can be installed on physical servers, virtual machines, and public cloud instances. Speaking of the cloud, Commvault provides increased efficiency and cost reductions through cloud media agent power management and the optimization of cloud storage tiers. The former automatically turns on a media agent when it is required to perform various operations and turns off the media agent after the operation is complete. The latter optimizes cloud storage to minimize read charges from the cloud vendor at the cool and cold storage tier levels. While not strictly a Commvault component, storage targets are certainly an important part of any data management solution. Commvault supports a vast amount of storage targets, which is a competitive differentiator when a solution requires the flexibility of a multi-vendor support. As mentioned previously, Disk, tape, and cloud storage targets are all supported, including Commvault's own distributed storage clusters. Commvault's tightly integrated storage indexing techniques provide a global data repository that makes it easy to protect, move, and recover data seamlessly in any location, including on premises, public cloud, hybrid cloud, and multi cloud environments. Commvault software provides compression, deduplication, and encryption natively via software, which can allow the use of these technologies on cost-effective storage instead of having to purchase separate hardware or products to leverage these technologies. We will discuss these features later in the module. The Commvault web server hosts the Commvault REST API interface to communicate with the ComServe system. This allows access to ComCell and end-user operations through the Commvault command center, web console, and third-party REST API agents. The web console provides web-based applications, including self-service functionality, that allows non-administrative users to perform data management operations such as backup, restore, download, etc. In addition, the web console allows users to, among other tasks, 
run reports, and execute automated workflows. As we have already discussed, the command center is the web-based user interface for administration tasks. Commvault Hyperscale X is our next generation of integrated appliance that converges the core Commvault architecture components with Commvault's intelligent data management software into an intuitive and easy to deploy scale out appliance. Commvault Hyperscale X is fully integrated with the power of Commvault Distributed Storage File System, which builds the foundation to converge storage, container, and cloud technologies allowing for automation of processes and simplification of multi-cloud connections behind the appliance. Commvault Hyperscale X can also be deployed utilizing a validated reference design based on a commodity hardware from several leading technology vendors. Commvault Hyperscale X has a dedicated module in this training and will be covered in greater detail there. The built-in resiliency of Commvault Hyperscale X combines system architecture and best practices implemented to deliver the required level of service. The platform's resilience is based on 4 plus 2 erasure coding, providing multi-level tolerance of hardware failure. At the node level, Hyperscale X uses mirrored root disk and separate subnet VLAN for public data protection traffic and private storage pool traffic over bonded network interfaces for enhanced resiliency. Commvault Hyperscale X's inbuilt resilience is complemented by the optimized scale-out architecture which uses standard servers with redundant components. Optimized scalability helps customers grow as needed with on-premise and cloud environments. You can create a storage pool for storing secure data and then increase it as needed by adding individual or multi-node increments. The node configurations have been optimized to provide resiliency and performance while supporting all media agent functions. The Commvault data management platform uses software agents to facilitate the protection and recovery of data on production systems. Commvault software supports most types of operating systems, file systems, applications, databases, hypervisors, and cloud providers in the market, as well as many popular SaaS providers. Commvault software packages directly interact with the file system or application requiring protection and provide the common functionality of Commvault services and utilities. The Commvault software packages include the provision of application-aware and application-consistent protection capabilities to ensure that data is protected in a consistent state and is recoverable in a valid and usable format upon restoration. Each server requiring protection will have at least one software package installed, although there are some exceptions. In some cases, an agent federates the management of other systems or acts as a communication gateway to perform specific data management tasks. For example, Virtual machines or cloud instances can be protected without requiring the installation of a software package when utilizing the Commvault virtual server agent. Wherever your customer is at on their data journey, Commvault solutions leverage these core infrastructure components to handle a wide variety of use cases, including backup solutions, disaster recovery, security and compliance, big data protection, hybrid IT, virtualization, cloud data management, ransomware protection, API integrations, cloud data migration, and scale-out infrastructure. Solutions may be deployed across both physical and virtual environments for structured and unstructured data, both on-premise, in the cloud, across clouds, and at the edge spanning different server platforms, hypervisors, applications, and disparate storage platforms. 
With Commvault software, organizations can leverage shared infrastructure, consolidate and centralize the management of these functions, apply common processes across their environments, and maximize their storage efficiency by leveraging global deduplication. This allows customers to minimize the learning curve associated with data management, design for availability, and disaster recovery in a holistic fashion and minimize the amount of times that data requires processing. By doing so, the deployment of Commvault software can drive significant economic savings for organizations as well as dramatically increase the efficiency of their operations. As previously discussed, Commvault software has many features and uses and can provide a more holistic approach to data management. Understand that some customers are only looking for a solution to a specific problem, and thoughts about replacing their whole infrastructure can be a concern for some prospects. Remember, you can sell Commvault software to solve a specific challenge and then revisit with the customer later to address other needs that arise. At this point, the single unified approach can become a powerful selling tool. Now, let's move on to a discussion around Commvault Software's unique indexing methodologies. Commvault Software provides resiliency and maximizes the infrastructure efficiency in environments. The ComServe houses the ComServe databases a relational database built on SQL that contains much of the critical metadata for a ComCell environment. Information such as scheduling, storage policies, activity, media management, reporting, security, and encryption is housed in the ComServe database. It is important to note that the database only houses this lightweight metadata which allows Commvault to maintain a small database footprint. Media agents are where the index cache and, in many cases, deduplication databases are restored. The index cache contains detailed job and object index information and characteristics. For example, exactly where each piece of data is being stored on a storage target device. The deduplication database maintains signature records for deduplicated data blocks, which are generated using a hash algorithm. The index cache is maintained locally by the media agent themselves and automatically protected like the data itself to a storage target. As mentioned, the fact that the index information is also written to each storage target contributes to the resiliency and flexibility of a Commvault software environment. In the case of a failure, a different media agent responsible for a secondary copy of the data will also contain all the indexing information required to perform recovery. In addition, a different media agent to the one that was used to perform the backup can be used to recover the data. In fact, a media agent does not necessarily have to exist prior to data being written to a storage target. This can be extremely useful when using a cloud storage target, as a cloud media agent can be created or powered on only when the restore operation is desired. Distributing the index across multiple layers also minimizes the footprint of capacity consumed by the indexes. Even in a very large environment, the centralized ComServe database maintains a minimal footprint. This allows for portability and simplified disaster recovery of the ComServe database. In a disaster recovery scenario, the capabilities provided by Commvault Software's distributed indexing capabilities result in highly accelerated time to data recovery. 
Many alternative solutions in the market have monolithic databases that can grow very large and become unmanageable. Imagine a customer hit by a ransomware attack. The advantages of a smaller CompServe database becomes apparent. Given its smaller footprint, it can be protected at regular intervals through various methods, minimizing data loss and the time to restore it is minimal. Once the CompServe is back online, the media agents will initiate the restoration of data and servers. When directly compared to competitive solutions, customers see that the recovery of their environment is initiated well before many competitive solutions have even finished restoring the database. Another key differentiator is how Commvault software handles the recovery of data in a single pass. To illustrate this process, let's look at a simple data protection operation. In this example, a media agent communicates with the server to determine the data that needs to be protected. A full backup of the data is then conducted. Thereafter, incremental backups are conducted. In this example, four incremental backups occur after the full. Let's assume that at this point in time, the server experiences a catastrophic failure and needs to be recovered. The Commvault Media Agents index all data being written to the storage target, so the administrator can view all backed up data from any point in time regardless of backup type. When the recovery process is initiated, Commvault software identifies the most current version of these objects that were present after the last backup. The Media Agent Index is leveraged in order to gather the most recent copy of each file in the backup, which are utilized to conduct the system restore. Commvault software intelligently knows how to combine the latest full backup with the subsequent incremental backups to present a point-in-time image. Now let's move on to a discussion around Commvault software's deduplication methodologies. In this section, we will cover several key areas to help you understand Commvault deduplication and the benefits that it delivers. You can enable deduplication for any data source, although it's not a requirement to manage storage targets. Customers can also leverage hardware-assisted deduplication provided by third-party storage vendors if required. Source-side deduplication, also commonly known as client-side dedupe, leverages a client-based disk cache known as a source-side deduplication database, which contains the signatures for the data blocks relative to that particular client. With source-side deduplication, source-side redundant data is identified at the client and is reduced prior to the network transmission of that data. Target-side deduplication, on the other hand, conducts the comparison process via a deduplication database resident on media agent prior to writing data to the storage target. This is similar in fashion to many deduplication appliances which bundle a server, software, and storage in a single target device. Commvault follows a similar methodology in our distributed indexing functionality discussed previously with the distribution of deduplication record information. When a particular piece of data is written to the storage target, the signature and location information relative to that object or job is also stored with it. This allows us to only use the deduplication database for check-in or lookup processes only. An important differentiator is that the deduplication database is not required to restore any particular pieces of data. It is key to note that with Commvault software, customers do not have to make an all or nothing decision when it comes to the type of deduplication appropriate in their environment.
both source and target site deduplication may be designed in a customer environment to suit their needs. Dash copy is a technology that enables the transmission of data in its deduplicated, reduced form factor between media agents. This includes the capability to recover data and maintain different retention periods both independently from the primary copy. This reduction in bandwidth consumption facilitates disaster recovery and also eliminates the need for vendor-specific appliances or array replication for disaster recovery purposes. Commonwealth software also provides a global deduplication capability wherein copies of data from multiple storage targets may be combined and referenced through a centralized deduplication database. This is achieved by creating what is known as storage pools. This allows customers to collapse wider groups of common data into a global pool to maximize the level of efficiency with deduplication. Increased deduplication efficiency is achieved by the way of having a larger common pool of blocks to reference against. It also provides customers a great deal of flexibility and allows them to design FAN in scenarios to maximize the utilization of storage targets. A global deduplication storage pool can span secondary sets of dash copies in a single data center repository as depicted in this diagram. Commvault software is also renowned for its scalability. As the number of clients being managed in an environment or datasets those clients generate increase to a threshold where the original number of media agents cannot accommodate a customer's established protection and recovery SLAs, it is very simple to scale the environment by deploying additional media agents to accommodate the load. This core architecture also facilitates backend scaling of deduplication and non deduplication storage targets. As an environment grows and more and more capacity is consumed, Commvault software alerts users and allows them to easily add additional storage. Commvault's Hyperscale X takes scalability to a whole new level by simplifying the process of adding compute and storage resources with predictable scalability. It allows customers to more easily plan and budget for growth while minimizing administrative costs. Commvault Hyperscale X is a flexible, grow-on-demand platform with linear performance capable of achieving multi-petabyte expansion. Now let's cover a couple of key concepts surrounding logical components in a Commvault environment. Security is a broad topic which extends beyond the scope of this training course. However, let's cover the high-level features that will enable you to articulate and differentiate the value of Commvault software as part of a broader security discussion. Security is built into every aspect of the Commvault software, from an end user's computer all the way to the backup storage. Customers can use our security features, ransomware features, and administrative tools to enhance their own data security plan, ensuring that their data is kept private and secure from both internal and external threats. Commvault helps customers with recovery readiness, which is the ability to protect data, applications, and workloads, including the backup infrastructure, so they can restore their business operations when needed within their desired recovery time objectives. The security offering can be described by following categories. Foundation hardening, application hardening, ransomware protection, data isolation, also known as air gapping, and recovery readiness. 
Starting with foundation hardening, the core components of the Comwall platform rely on the underlying operating system, database, application, and web server technologies. Comwall provides validated and fully documented hardening configurations based on NIST and CIS standards and guidelines to help protect against corruption and minimize data loss. Application hardening is a much broader category and refers to a common security framework known as AAA, which stands for Authentication, Authorization and Accounting. Comwall provides a large range of features across this framework, such as role-based user security, integration with external domains, secure LDAP integration for user authentication, support for single sign-on with SAML integration, and external identity providers using secure protocols, credentials manager, client owner security, and data privacy. On the authorization side relating to network and data security, Comwall provides FIPS certified encryption, offering encryption in transit and at rest certificate authentication and backlist capabilities. Finally, under accountability, Comwall provides audit trails and reporting and the ability to create audit reports for unused security entities, client encryption information, APIs, and permissions. Comwall has several ransomware features that protect the platform from being the conduit for spreading ransomware to the backup data, and that can also detect ransomware to starve off potential attacks. The inbuilt ransomware protection on Hyperscale X comes with immutability preventing data from being modified or deleted by anyone once it has been written. Also known as the ransomware protection lock, this feature is the first level of defense in the layered secure data management framework. Isolating backup data helps mitigate cyber threats. Physical access to data is also limited in order to minimize internal threats that may inflict physical damage to storage. Applying air gapping techniques, i.e. shutting network access to copies of data, limits accessibility, further strengthening protection. Comwall supports segmented networks via subnet and wildcard-based data interface pairs (DIPs). It also supports various encrypted network topologies, air gap capabilities via workflows, and scripts and warm copy support. Last but not the least is DR readiness. When a disaster strikes, you need your backup environment online and functioning first in line in order to recover the next critical systems. Comwall provides several features that ensure the ComServe is available and can be recovered in the smallest amount of time possible. This includes features such as DR backups to the cloud and ComServe Live Sync replication. Encrypting data is an essential part of a data protection strategy especially if the data is being placed on removable media or stored in the cloud. If data is stolen or becomes accessible to unauthorized users, then sensitive information may be compromised and cause a significant security risk for the organization. Commonwealth software is secure by design, providing FIPS certified data encryption functionality that is built into the Comwall data platform as part of the Comwall complete data protection. Comwall software encryption lets customers choose where and when the encryption is implemented, enabling them to meet their own specific security policies. Comwall encryption can even be used together with Comwall deduplication. Comwall software encryption provides end to end security where data can be selectively encrypted in line during data protection operations. Software encryption can be initiated on the server being protected or on the media agent and remain encrypted when written to the storage target. 
offline or copy based encryption uses COMOL software encryption to secure data using auxiliary copy jobs. Customers can preserve the primary copy encryption or choose to re encrypt the data with a different encryption cipher if they wish. Hardware encryption allows you to encrypt data on tape drives that have built-in encryption capabilities. Commonwealth software supports a wide variety of encryption algorithms based on the required security and performance as depicted in this table. Finally, you can protect Commonwealth software encryption keys using supported third-party solutions from SafeNet and Wormetric, as well as AWS and Azure Key Management Servers, to name a few. This concludes Module 2, Commonwealth Foundation and Core Architecture Overview. During this module, we discuss the core components within the Commonwealth Software Architecture and functions of the Commonwealth Software Server components. We also discuss some of the benefits that a unified software approach combined with Commonwealth software indexing structures bring to the customer. For further learning on this subject, please find more information on Commonwealth's Partner Advantage portal. Thank you for watching.